Greetings, I'm Bobby W6IWN, and today I'm here with Dave, <laughs> PK7RHF. And we're going to actually do a Soda Poda dual activation. We're in Poda Park, US 4469, the Toronto National Forest. And we're headed up to the Soda Summit, I believe it's Whiskey Six Stroke, November Sierra, that's 236. Across the hill, it's just a little one, but uh, we're going to go up and uh, try to activate and have fun today. Let's head on up. Ricky's already wearing his pack. So Ricky's, he's learning walking again in his boots, but he's got to wear them today. Come on, Ricky. You got this. You'll get used to it. You're doing good. You're doing good. Things we do for ham radio. Up, up we go. We're almost to the top. Boy, it was a really good day for me to leave my snowshoes in the car. Hopefully Dave is packing me these nice steps right up the mountain. Woohoo! We finally made it to the summit after about three or four false summits. So we're really excited. I got the tactical delta loop that I brought up here and I found a cool way to set it up. Dave's going to spread out and go down the, the ridge a little bit and let's get activated. I'll see ya. See ya! Alright, very cool. We finally made it to the top after a few false summits and I've been wondering how I'm going to get this tactical delta loop set up because the snow isn't as firm as I was hoping. I was just going to poke the stake on which I think I might have still been able to make work but we found this stump and it's kind of rotten I was able to take the spike and just poke it in the stump and I feel like that's gonna do the trick oh I'm falling out here okay I've been excited to try this thing on a soda at first I thought you know maybe that's too big of an antenna and gonna be too much weight and actually once I picked everything up it's not that much weight at all this is the whole system right here and then plus the wire and the spike it's maybe three pounds tops, everything, if that. So now I got my spike in. I'm gonna go ahead and, and take the tactical delta loop adapter here. I'm gonna take my micro hybrid, screw it on one side. This is actually gonna probably be quicker and easier than deploying my infed half wave. Okay, let's stick that in the stump a little bit better. Put a whip on the other end. I'm gonna go ahead and put my wire on. I'm just gonna drop the winder, that way it unwinds as it goes up. Put the stress loop on. Hook on the copper clamp. Go ahead and send that end out. I'm just making sure in that I'm opening these all the way completely. Make sure that it, each antenna is open the same amount. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Put the stress loop over. Hook up the clamp. Whoops, hook up the clamp. Hook up the clamp and send this end out. Ricky, whoa, whoa. Ricky, come here. Get your leg out of there, fix your foot, come here. Ricky, Ricky, get out of there. Oh, that was close. All right, make sure you don't get your dog stuck in the antenna as you're deploying. <laughs> That's a first for me. Woo.
All right, I'm gonna hook up my coax and I'm ready to go. That was actually way quicker and less effort than my in-fed half wave. And I didn't have to walk back and forth through the snow to set it up. Very cool, I'm excited. I hope the band conditions are in our favor today. They were very, very poor. So let's uh, get some coax hooked up, get my radio going and get activated. For my coax, rather than lugging up some RG58, I got this Chameleon RG316 and it has a choke on one end. I'm gonna go ahead and stick the choke side on the antenna over here. And then I'll just run the other side to my radio. This is 25 feet and that should be plenty to get me over to my operating station off of the backpack today. The shack of the day. All right, very cool. That was probably actually one of the quickest <laughs> setups that I've had versus my in-fed half wave. QRZ, Summit Sand Parks on the air. This is Whiskey 6, India Whiskey November. Whiskey 7, Tango Delta Lima. That's amazing because I'm using a tactical Delta Loop too. So I got you, Josh. <laughs> QRZ, Summit Sand Parks on the air. Kilo, Kilo 7, Okay, uh, I heard a lot of you first with the park to park, park to park only. All right, it was successful. How'd you do, Dave? Did great. Probably about 45 contacts. I uh, could have gotten a lot more. Just the bands were hot. You got a lot of DX, didn't you? Got a lot of DX, Puerto Rico, um, Chile, and France. Very nice. Uh, a couple others. Uh, can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> I got some Canada, but we're all connected where I don't know if I'd consider it a DX, but I, I got some Canada out there. I got like 118, I think. It was really good on 20 meters. We had a solar storm happening earlier this weekend. I think we're still recovering from it today, but the bands are definitely a lot better. Uh, 20 was okay. Uh, it's my first summits on the air that I've done a hundred or broken so I'm gonna say this antenna definitely performed well I had a lot of fun out here and uh, how'd you did you have fun or what had a great time yeah beautiful view can't, can't beat it the views are pretty good but they could be better it's better we're on top last weekend or whatever we were way up there we went a little lower this time but uh, it was still good everything's so snowed in still to the road so there's only so many we can pick and choose from unless we really, really want to do a much longer hike than we did today. And speaking of that, we should probably start heading back down to the vehicles. Yeah. What do you think? It's a long way down. All right. Do Thanks for watching. And I appreciate all the chasers out there. We couldn't do it without you.